Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris bringing it to you here from a lovely little Westlake Village, California. It is bright. It's early. I've been here since very early in the morning ahead of the CP live report. Yes, uh, inflation came out hotter than expected. Let's just take a look at that really, really quick. And we know they're lying about those numbers. That's for sure. But um, Initial jobless claims, 209,000, so lower than expected. That's bullish for the dollar. Core inflation at 0.3%, so that's even. Inflation month over month, 0.4%. Uh, so as I'm actually looking at this again, you know, that is uh, lower than the previous month, but still higher than expected. Inflation year over year, 3.7, 3.7. So coming out uh, higher than the consensus there. So a bit of a mixed bag, but as you can see, overall, you know, uh, they're saying, look, inflation's not dead. Inflation's not dead. And what does that mean? Well, let's check out the interest rate. And by the way, the next interest rate hike is going to be on November 1st. So that's when Powell will decide the fate of the world, November 1st, and then we have one on December 13th. So now a 90% chance of no hike, 10% chance there is going to be a hike. I wonder if there's going to be any more economic data coming out. Um, they're doing everything they can to save the economy and bring the uh -oh, consumer inflation expectations That'll come out later today or tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, Friday. Tomorrow's Friday already. Wow. I got a lot to do today, so I'm going to try and make this one short and sweet and to the point. And overall, following up on the last video I did uh, where I said, look, daily uptrend um, likely to be in play. If we close below here, well, you'd have an M formation looking to come back to 26.2 or 26.3, somewhere in this zone, and put in the next daily higher low. However, momentum is crossed back to the downside and will remain down as long as we're below 28,000. If we start to see this stochastic past that pivot right there um, and not flip back around, it's not going to be not bueno uh, in that sense. So I want to see where the liquidity is lying. I imagine somewhere right around that wick is people probably said, hey, there's a chance. There's a, or, or probably right here around 26,000, 25,900. I imagine there's some liquidity lying there. And we had talked about, you know, perhaps a, um, a little bit of a wick down and a follow through up, right? Um, you know, Bitcoin despite the war and everything going on, you know, pretty much holding itself strong, which is good, good. And uh, we still, you know, have the potential for the daily uptrend to remain in place as long as we don't close below this area and, you know, real, real warning signs back, uh, back below this wick right here at 20... 23,625. Um, but, you know, that would be kind of the first warning sign uh, below 26,2 or call it 26,000. So as long as that area kind of holds, I, I do suspect we continue onwards and upwards as they're going to have to make the money printer go burr as the bond market is melting down. And also what... To be aware of is you know maybe a wick down here to 26.5 and then a retest of this trend line because we've now broken it and i'm sure everybody you know took that as the uh short signal although it happened way up there so not not very pleasant that's why i like to look at some of the shorter term time frames as i was examining them as we uh as i <coughs> was preparing for this morning um for our momentum is now declining. However, Stokes just crossed down again in the critical kind of bearish control zone. Not good there. Uh, the RSI is still in the bearish control zone and really no signs of hidden bearish divergence. So um, 
you know, definitely an opportunity to come down to this pivot at 26.3. Let's take a look at high block capital um, in the one month liquidation zone. So this is, again, my kind of idea. Bitcoin, you know, the market makers are going to push the price where the liquidity lies. There's obviously a lot down here at about 25 or, or oh, that's that's about 26,000. So how far off is that from price action from where we're at today? Now declining volatility means, you know, we're getting ready for that mean reversion bounce. So what do you expect uh, once the low is in, once the momentum flips back to the upside? Well, you get a bit of a retracement. So let's just take a look. Uh, seeing this as an M formation. Because that liquidity is not going to get tagged in one day. The market maker wants to, you know, get everybody out. So M would give that. That is your M formation right there. But what often happens you want to see that lower high come in somewhere along that green 55. So if we do tag here and bounce, where's the mean? A weak bounce would come back up to 27, uh, 27.3, or even a strong bounce would be a retest of this trend line at about 27.5. The good old Fibonacci tools. And hey, any kind of a closure back above this wick, even right here, I'd be looking for a swift move back up to 30,000. Uh, play it safe I'd, uh, on a four hour time frame. Yeah, back above here probably going to uh, see a nice little move to the upside. And also, you know, kind of warning signs here, back above this little wick right here after having the silver cross. Remember, pressure is on the downside. Also, uh, what was it, the daily, two-day? I think I was looking at Ethereum on that one. I'm not even looking at the right chart, but I want to show you guys Ethereum. A uh, bit of a death cross there. Boom. Price action got close to it. Is the same thing happen on Solanas? My Solanas. My Solanas. What's happening to my Solanas? Are we going to get the full retrace down, down, down to doggy town? Oh, yes. I like to see that happening in the morning. Boom. Boom. That was nice. That was nice, very, very nice. Wow, explosive move on Ethereum right now. Thank you, Mr. Bot, thank you. I'll take it, I'll take it. Of course, right when I go on stream, look at that. Look at that. That dirty little dog. That dirty little dog did it to us right while we're recording a session. What is up with that? I'm going to check in on Solana because these are the uh, the bounces. Oh, do I want to take the profits? Do I want to take the profits? That is the question. I think I'll just move my stop into a profit. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take it. Oh. Let's check it out on the five minute time frame. looking at this and we did hit the 1618. So expecting a bit of a bounce from there. Or is it going to be a continuation down to 20 bucks? Um, a theory. So after this long consolidation on Solana. Dude, I can't. I, can I leave it? Can I leave it be? It's a five minute candle, Chris. Because if we break this little guy right here, we're going to come down quite a bit more. Um, is Bitcoin bouncing? Is Bitcoin bouncing? Is the dollar bouncing? So if we level off and close right here, you usually get a backfill retest and then drive dive down a little bit further. Um, I can always just get back in. How's the volume coming in? Uh, so first volume spike down. On the five minute time frame, we are finally redlining it. And Ethereum, um, how's my Ethereum's doing? It just kind of, 
played out a nice little wick down. Wow, all the way down to 28. I think, all right, let's look at the liquidity on the heat map. And just curious, let's see where, if Bitcoin, how much did Bitcoin get down? How much did Bitcoin go down? Solana, I think she has more to go. Definitely going to have a little bit of an inefficiency candle here. So did Bitcoin tag the liquidity yet? No. Let's run it again. Let's run it again. I think I could move this up just slightly. So liquidity not tagged yet for Bitcoin. That's strange. Let's look at Bitcoin. Oh, big wick, big wick, reversal wick in place. Okay. Uh, Solana is going to be on the receiving end, guys. The receiving end of the Darth Maul lightsaber. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Never get her taking a profit as Bitcoin is ripping back to the upside. I'm going to take that one too. And I am... Having a good day, guys. Having a great day. Having a great day. Did I take it too early is the question. So was that just a fake out move and I got faked out on a five minute candle for Bitcoin? Could this be the potential W in formation? Because I think a lot of people are expecting more downside. We got hourly momentum flipping back to the upside for Bitcoin, which is good. Very, very good. Honestly, I should just go home for today. I should go home and call it a day because it's been a good day, guys. So far, so good. And I guess I'll walk you through uh, why I think this did get tagged and it's just not showing yet. Uh, this is a one month chart. That's why. Oh, oh, that's why. Seven day liquidity. Okay, let's run this back. We got right into the liquidation zone. They're coming for your liquidations. So it looks like Bitcoin has that 26.4 still hanging in the limelight. Did we tag 26.4? Not even close. Not even close. So do these altcoins get one more push to the downside is the question. Let's check out Ethereum. Um, these falling channels do tend to really play out, really play out nicely. So usually you're going to get that bounce one more time. They're going to go grab the liquidity to the upside and then force it to the downside. That's, that's how it happens. Bang. It's a good day, guys. So. I believe we were talking about this 1535 to, oh, look at that. Wow, went way deep down in there. See that? Oh, so now there's more liquidations right here at 1530. I would expect a bounce back up to 1530 on Ethereum. What? Oh my gosh, Alexa's listening to me. Siri, go away. Um. Sorry for the sloppy show today, guys, but uh, we, and I wish I did one yesterday. I was super busy yesterday, running around like a madman, helping people with um, their accounts. Needless to say, it is fun here at Bitcoin Advisors. Every single day, we have some fun. And can this flip back around and close bullish? I, I think it potentially can. Definitely. I want to look at, yeah, so 1535 is the bounce target, which would be, oh, we're already there. Interesting. What does it look like on a five minute time frame? Bit of a retracement. So I imagine uh, going into Friday, Friday fun day, Friday um, going over the weekend day, right? We get some more sideways price action. 
There's a bunch of liquidity hanging out uh, up here as well. So if they were going to bounce it to the upside and liquidate all the shorts that are hanging out there, wow. That would be uh, where I would send it right up here and then, you know, play out some sideways, get everybody bored again, and then boom it back to the, to the downside. But Bitcoin is holding up strong, guys, and this is what we want to see for a bit of a reversal. Might, might be time to get those longs out. All we want to see uh, is a classic W formation, which looks like this. And if you think you missed it, you, you probably didn't. This is probably the second opportunity. Um, all right. So what happened here? Boom. Call this a W. Yes, higher low. Now closure above, any kind of a closure back above here is gonna look good for a run all the way back up here. And you can see some volume. This is a reversal pivot, but not confirmed yet. Needs to close above that guy. So puts in a higher high, maybe tags that 20 uh, purple 200, comes back to the green 55, higher low, Boom, there's your reversal going into the weekend. And shoot, that thing could reverse all the way back up to 27.7, 28,000 bucks. In a heartbeat, as people flee to Bitcoin, your savior in times of uncertainty. No, that's, that's a good old Lord Jesus. He's the one who does it all. Takes care of us all, man. All right, uh, Dixie, my Dixies. As we did say, that was the measure move target for this ascending triangle. About to put in a higher low off the 21. That's going to look bullish, and that hurts uh, or helps out the bears. In Bitcoin land. So when the dollar goes up, risk assets go down. Here's the strange thing. Didn't you hear about all the senators buying all that stock? What kind of stock are they buying? Raytheon, all the people that build the bombs and drop them off over there. I saw the funniest, it's not funny, um, but the bombs in and the guns and all that crap. The war mindset, I, I mean, it's totally playing out, right? They, they gave them the money. <laughs> now um, they're at war again, stoking everybody's emotions, getting everybody distracted. Why? Fed now, question mark. What is that? What is the Fed now? Fed now service. Hmm. It's an instant payment service developed by the Federal Reserve for depository institutions in the United States, which allows individuals and businesses to send and receive money. The service launched July 2023. The Fed now is a CBDC coin. They are going to attempt to roll out the CBDCs. All right, I'll leave you with this. Look at these liquidations. That's where they're going for. 1553. I told you they're going to send it up there. I should take a long, but I'm not going to do it because you know what? I'm going to go to the gym and enjoy my day. It's already been a very successful day for myself. With that said, um, drop a comment below, share it, like it, and don't get distracted by the wars going on because what's really going on is this, guys. What's really going on, by the way, this is NASDAQ, all right? These trend lines are not looking good at all. Not looking good. Okay, here we go. We did dip our toesy woesies into this little box of peace and prosperity. We got the bounce. I mean, to be fair, looks pretty bullish to me. Is that a higher low? Is this a W? 
Uh, looks bullish to me. I wonder what tech stocks are flying to the moon right now. You know, the S&P 7. Let's check them out really quick. And let's check out the bond market. That's, this is what's really going on, guys. This is it. TLT, the 20-year treasury bond fund by, what do you know, iShares, BlackRock, right? I'm looking to be a buyer at this level. Not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. But very similarly to what Solana just did, I'm going to show you. This is why the Fibonacci tool is so phenomenal. I don't know how we did it, but these numbers don't lie, sir. So what happened? On a bearish retracement, we came down to the 618. Okay, bear trap pops up. Back to the not 0.5, pops up. Back to the not 0.5, rejects at the 786. Once you lose the 618 fib, it's down to doggy town. And once you break this line, after a long consolidation with low volatility, right? Low volatility, volatility begins to expand and boom. So we can still get a mean reversion bounce. And as long as TLT is below this area, the 0.5, pressure on to the downside. So big bounces can potentially come for TLT. But why would the bond shares fund? What happens when interest rates go up? Bond shares go down. So either Mr. Powell's in some deep, deep doo-doo and he knows he can't raise rates anymore and they're going to print money to infinity and our Bitcoins are going to go to the moon or he's going to raise rates one more time, crash some more banks. This is big. Like TLT, the biggest bond fund in the world. BlackRock's poor little bond fund. No wonder they're buying Bitcoin. Down 50%. This crash, this was the Shemitah crash. The reset, the great reset has already happened. Most people have no idea it's even happened. They're blind as a goose, like Elizabeth Warren. Why buy Bitcoin? Because it's only backed by air. I, I, anyways, I'm just ranting today. As I was watching somebody else rant, I'm thinking, God, that, that's annoying. <clears throat> How's my Bank of America doing? Oh, no. Bank of America? Bank of America? The worst bank ever. JP Morgan, a better bank, you know. Uh, FRC, ooh, ooh, we should have shorted that one. I wonder if you can still short this stock. I mean, I thought they did some kind of a hold on that, like you can't do it anymore, but um, maybe you should hold some bank stocks. Maybe, whoa, bank stocks. All right, I think I've had enough fun for today. NVIDIA is still going higher. Uh, Microsoft, uh, made a new all-time high. That's bullish. Uh, Amazon hanging back there, but probably going to follow his uh, brothers and sisters. And looks like a sloppy double head inverted. I'd be looking for a run at the highs. We got a silk or golden cross. Uh, momentum flips back to the upside above 140, and high would be getting bullish bullish on me some some amazons for another bit of a rally and where did we reject where do you think oh look at that why did price action go right to the 618 i mean depends on how you draw it right from the ultimate high to the low on a wick basis i mean you know the saying, right? Close enough is close enough. And as long as we hold this 382, I'm going to be bullish on this one. How's my Tesla's doing? Tesla grinding it out up against the top side of this channel. Any kind of a break above the 618 and uh, measure move to the moon, 691. Wow. Wow. Back below the 382, back below the right shoulder on this double-headed Gila monster. Back below there, first target, second target, and you know possibly back to the bottom of the range. So, all right, that's it for me. Have yourself a blessed and highly favored day. I will catch you in the next one.